In this video, I'm going to describe how I quote to make a new window to go in somebody's front door. So ask them to send you a photo of the door and also ask them to send you a photo of something they like. Maybe they want it just like their neighbor's front door or maybe they've walked around their local area, taken a few snaps, um, ask, ask for an idea of what they're looking for. That's really important before you um, go round because otherwise you'll go round and maybe they won't have thought about what they want. Um, I don't give a price there and then, so don't be pressured to do that. What I do is, I don't do a design for them straight away because once they hear the price, they might decide not to go ahead and that's a waste of your time. So um, I look at the image of one of their neighbor's doors that they've shown me and I say, well, if you have a design like this, it will cost you X amount. Um, I tend not to do that on the doorstep. Uh, I like to go away and consider it. And you might want to do a bit of research into how much uh, the glass would cost. Um, if you give them a price and they say, yes, they want to go ahead, then you have to take measurements and make a design for them. And um, at this stage, you would want to think about charging them because if they change their mind about going ahead, you'll have wasted your time. So I tend to say to people, the design will cost X amount. It's free if you go ahead. Um, but if you decide not to go ahead, the design will cost you. And then you decide how much time you've spent on the design or are likely to spend on a design um, and how much you want to charge either as a day rate, half day rate, hour rate, whichever you want to do. I tend to do a day rate and a half day rate. So um, having uh, got the go ahead for the design, um, I take a 50% deposit and then I will go around with my samples and I'll sit with the client and we'll go through the different glass and they can choose what they like and hopefully um, be advised um, so that they pick things that are sympathetic. Quite often people want to use stronger coloured glass than is traditional in front doors because we have a different notion to the Edwardians or the Victorians of uh, what's appropriate. So, but at the end of the day, it's their, their door, their window, and they'll let you know what they, what they want. Um, I decide how long it will take me to make, and then I uh, price accordingly. And don't forget to add a bit of time on because something will go wrong. Um, you need to warn the client that although they have selected their glass, sometimes none of that glass is available. So you can contact them with a plan B if that happens, or you can offer that they wait till the glass becomes available. Um, doing a new window is less trouble than remaking a window that's already in a house. You don't have to remove very carefully their um, damaged window, uh, which can be difficult without breaking more of the pieces. And you don't have to board up their window um, and get it turned around in a week because they don't they don't like the idea of uh, a board being in their front door. So um, in many ways, it's easier to just make a window than restore one. Um, I tend to price a half day rate for putting the window in because that's about how long it takes me. Um, don't forget to build into your price the hidden costs of being self-employed. So that's your vehicle, your um, petrol, your uh, heating, your studio rent, um, all those costs, your phone, uh, all those extras um, need to be built into your pricing. Um, but my, my main rule of thumb is how long will it take me and what are my material costs. So I hope that's helped you if you are 
a stained glass artist um, and are either just starting out or are just interested to see how other people work out their costings. Um, and if you have any questions, let me know.